Uh, Amy, how did it feel to get uh, three points at home I'm at the so end of the stretch? I'm so happy. Oh, my goodness. You know, we've been sitting on a bunch of ties. We've wanted to get this win. We really needed the three points. Um, I'm just elated. I'm so happy. On that goal, it looked like you sidestepped. You got out of the way of the cross. What were you seeing that made you think it should be Erica's shot? Um, first of all, I absolutely love playing with Gunny because she is everywhere on the field all the time. And she worked so hard on that goal because she chased the ball down. She was able to cross it. Um, I knew Erica was behind me, and I knew that Erica had a better angle probably than I did. So um, I had no problem, you know, leaving her the ball. And she, you know, cleanly tucked it in the corner and put us up on the board. And I was so happy for her. Um, on that on that penalty kick, you, um, you you got taken down in a box. Um, was it is it always common for? Do you know ahead who's going to take the PK, or was it just something that you and Diana kind of talked about? Diana just Diana and I just joked. I told her I'm never allowing her to take one of my PKs ever again. <laughs> um, no, I think in the beginning of the season, uh, Diana was our PK taker um, on the play. She picked up the ball, wanted the PK, and that's good with me. You know, another day she'll put that in the back of the net. So now moving forward, Amy, the team left on a really high note. Energy was good. Momentum was good. What do you do this week to carry that on to Portland? Right now it's about recovery. We know that we're traveling all the way to the West Coast. It's going to be a really tough game. Playing against Portland in Portland is not an easy task. So for me personally, recovery, rest, um, getting the mindset that we've got a big battle ahead of us with Portland on the horizon. Um, and hopefully we go there and take care of business. In terms of oh. Just, I, I think you touched on this right there, but because of that road trip now to Portland, kind of leaving your home base for for a little while, did you guys see this game as sort of a must win, a must get three points? Did you kind of feel that way at all? Um, I will say that it is comfortable playing at home, right? You know, we don't have to travel. We have all the same schedule. We're used to our surroundings, the weather. You know, we don't have any adjustment to worry about. Um, and we've been lucky that for the last four games we haven't had to travel. Now we're going to be on a, a little bit of a battle. And I think the mindset is we know it's going to be hard. We need to get back down to business. And um, if we want to keep in the top half of this league, we need to start pulling away with some points, some wins. So that's going to be our goal going forward. You mentioned Gunny, um, talked about Gunny. Just, and you got the little smile coming across your face. Uh, obviously, she played back a little bit more the last couple of games, was mm -hmm. a little bit more. Just how does she change the, the attack and moving forward? So forth. She's such a busy, hardworking, wonderful player, you know, to play against. And today she was in the more of attacking role, which was fun because she's able to be all over the field for us. Um, she's the reason why we scored. And um, I will say that it, it was a lot of fun out there with her today. Amy, what does it say about the team generally that uh, Erica gets her first start, scores with that start, hadn't mm -hmm. played a ton? Uh, Taylor hadn't played since uh, the opener, and she's brought on to help close the game down at the end. What does it say about the depth and just the professionalism to be ready? Laura has always said that the bench is going to win the game for us. And I think today with the subs that we've made, and including E into that because she's kind of new to this uh, starting roster today, um, she did fantastic. All the players that came in did fantastic. And that's what's so nice, you know, to be on, on this squad, to know that I got great players around me left and right. Um, they were the difference makers today, and they're the reason why, why we won. That first half, you guys seemed like you had so many chances and weren't able to put them away. What was Houston doing in order to make it hard for you to capitalize on those? I think Houston's a good squad, especially that first half. They were that lower block, big defense where it was hard to break through. But as the game you know, carried on, they got tired, and there were a lot more pockets, a lot more holes. Um, you could see in that last 15 minutes, we really had a lot more chances. Um, I do wish we could have walked away with more than a 1-0 victory, but I'll take it. I'll take the three points and... Go back to work tomorrow. Obviously, you're heading back on the road, so this might not be relevant for the next month or so, but have you sensed that the altitude is a thing for it's opponents? Okay. Is it a thing? Is it a, a challenge for opponents? Have I, you haven't sensed asked, that? I haven't asked the opponent specifically, but I can only assume that it is definitely a challenge. I know for us who, who live in this environment, it can be a challenge at times, so I think that we use that to our advantage when we can and um, hope that we can you know, have a benefit as a, as a home side, you know, living here and experiencing the, the altitude and whatnot. Amy, Laura has a theory that the altitude will be of greater benefit to us when we go away. 
Mm -hmm. I would love for that to be the case. <laughs> um, yeah, I think when we play out of here, we'll really get the feeling of whether or not the altitude does affect us, and hopefully we'll be in better shape now than when we go, you know, to another home field. Got four straight here at home. How have you felt the, the community, the crowd here has been supportive mm -hmm. um, here just through this homestand? I absolutely love playing here. You can see in the crowds, you can see in the fans that um, they're rooting for us, they're excited for us, and it makes us play better. I, I think as a Utah Royals player, we, we love looking up at the fans and, and seeing them cheer us on, and we just want to win for them, and hopefully we're making them proud. Hey, I'm, sure you, I'm sure you have a plan for your comeback in terms of progression. Mm -hmm. Are you checking off every box week by week? feels like it. Every game I go through without, you know, pain or issues, you know, is, is a win in my book. And as I've, you know, progressed into this season, I've played more and more minutes, and now I'm slowly getting back to normal. But... I will say with every game, it's also felt harder. You know, every 10 extra minutes I'm playing, it's 10 more minutes of work, and it's really hard. You know, I'm trying to get back into my full fitness and, um, you know, still working on it, though, but it, it's just been fun. I'm happy.